o'clock a.m. New Zealand Standard Time. 17 degrees, not bad for a change. We've finally done, well, we've gone something better than 16 degrees. It's been there since about midnight this last night. Believe me, that's when I started work. It was 16 degrees then. So, 17 degrees. Hopeful that uh, my prediction of 20 degrees, we're going to get there. I really do feel that. When the weatherman says 15 degrees, we've already passed him. Passed him ages ago. He didn't even come into the picture today. Uh, but for those of you that are out and about right now, please don't forget, you know, it is a rather soggy out there, so the roads are slippery, right? Yeah. So turn your lights on, make a click, drive to the conditions we want you to get to your destination safely, and keep an eye out for surface flooding. Think about that. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, but in the meantime, let me do this. Galaxy. Galaxy. That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM. Got to welcome along everybody that's joining us this morning. Uh, and if you're going to be watching it a little later on over there on YouTube, you know what to do, right? No, you do. You really do. Sub, thumb, bell. Bingo. Uh, bell, notifications when we have important people joining us, especially coming out of, you know, South Africa, Bloemfontein. Uh, believe me, it's been a little while since we've caught up with altitude, uh, but I tell you what, it's just a pleasure to catch up with the man himself. Uh, latitude, sorry, my apologies. Yep, I'm going to get it right one of these years, I really am. Uh, stuffed up on the last time as well, i got to be honest. Having said that, uh, I've got to also do this because, believe me, this is fantastic, it is. Check this out. Yes, really, really happy to be in association with Rise Up TV. Big record. Sony Music, The Orchard as well. Yes, absolutely. Marion Maxwell's watching. Nice to have you on board, Marion. It really, really is. Tell you what, you took me down old roads the other day, especially with the uh, cement works and the silos at the wharf. Yeah. I thought they would have been there forever in a day. I remember playing around the silos at the wharf as a kid. Really did, with their push bikes, everything like that. Lots of fun, and motorbikes, too, back in the day. Uh, nice to have you on board. It really, really is. Lisa Saunders, yes, from Rise Up TV, Big Records, is joining us as well. And today, believe me, very, very excited, because, <laughs> believe me, I absolutely adore this young man's work. I really, really do, and I think you're going to enjoy it as well. Check this out. Uh, he was just informing me that this is actually the musical interlude will start to the uh, song we're going to be releasing a little later on, Burning and Looting. But check it out. Here's Gunman Town. And, yes, it's out. At, uh, it's latitude. I'm going to get it. Yeah, believe me. You're right here at Jonesy. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. I am. I get what's in front of me is L T I T T L I T, you know, and I read it as altitude, uh, but I get corrected all the time because it's latitude, and I do apologise, bro. <laughs> yes, no, no, no problem, no problem, uh, my, my my beloved brother. And also, there's some more uh, things you must be aware of. Uh, the gunman town, that song you play, is actually burning and looting. Gunman Town is the name of the instrumental, yeah? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And we're going to cover that when we go back live to the desk. We really, really will. Yeah. Um, Thank you, my boy. Uh, believe me, um, I'm loving it. I really, really am. Um, by the way, thank you for staying up so late to talk to us. Uh, you know, what, one o'clock in the morning? Gosh, bro, well done. It's part of the work. It's part of the work, my brother. When you love what you do, it takes you nothing at all, man. I get it. Believe me, I get it. <laughs> I really, really do. Uh, if, if you're doing the job that you love, then it does never work. It never is. I'm taking Yes, my boys. <laughs> dear, oh dear, oh dear. Gosh, it's hot in here. The window's open. <laughs> the window's open. Cool. <laughs> I love that. Oh, I see Johnny. I hear... I hear Sorry, sir. I hear, I hear you.
I hear you got some floods in, in New Zealand as well. Some floods? Yes. Yeah, that would be about right. Um, we, we're coming into winter time and we're starting to get that uh, rainy season the coming feeling. upon us. Sorry? The wet feeling. The wet feeling. Yeah. Well, Marion Maxwell will understand this. She comes from Westport. You know, those people down there have uh, wet feet apparently. <laughs> That's so. Can I, can, I, can, I, can I just get a cup of tea? Just, just like you. I'm just getting water in. You go for it, my bro. My boss. <laughs> Franco Nanichi is joining us. Hey, you brother man. Nice to have you on board. Uh, Franco, please pass love on to Sonny. What a wonderful young man he is. Really, really is. And I really enjoyed doing our interview with Sonny. I really did. Anyway. That's right, you're right here at Galaxy, check this out, we're going to do it today. That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM, sometimes it doesn't work, yeah, it just skips over it and well, it, it worked today, I'm absolutely surprised, I really really am. And believe me, I'm really, really excited because a good friend of ours, yes, he's back again. Latitude is joining us out of Blancfontaine. And uh, believe me, it's been a little while since we've caught up and uh, we're about to release some work that he's done. And you know something else? We're about to release some work that isn't supposed to be released just yet. I think uh, in a couple of days, about 17th or something, it's going to be coming out. But we have the skinny on that one as well. We really do. Uh, so, welcome back, brother man. How are you? Yes, yes, my boss. I'm fine. And how have how you been keeping up? Well, I've been keeping up really, really well. In fact, uh, we've been keeping you up. It must be what, and just after one o'clock in the morning? Yes, yes, yes. For real, man. For real, one o'clock in the morning, man. Up at like 12 o'clock. <laughs> you know something? I really appreciate it. I really, really do. And, uh, uh, Franco says uh, there's going to be some big news coming very, very yeah, shortly. Well, that excites me, Franco. It really yeah. does. Looking forward to that. Uh, also, Chris Andreas is joining us. Nice to have you on board, Chris. And uh, thank you for joining us as well. Believe me, I got the skinny today. I really, really... I'm loving this. It's even in colour. It really is. This is classy. Like it. Really, really do. And we're going to talk about that and about the music that we are uh, about to release. But... We opened up the show with Gunman Town. Now, uh, there's a little something something to Gunman Town uh, because it's connected to the song that we're going to be releasing today, uh, Burning and Looting. Tell me a little bit about Gunman Town and how this became what it is. Yes, uh, it, it, it's a step working to burning and looting, you know, trying to improve on, on quality and content, you know. Because, you know, Galaxy FM is my family, you know, so thank you for being on board to, to help us to promote this song. Because really, this is an exclusive promotion for the song. This is just exclusive promotion for the song. So, yes, man, Gunman Town is, is a wedding produced by DJ Astro Black in, in Australia. So, he sent the wedding forward, and then I hear the wedding. You know, you know, from, from, from how it sounds, you could tell, say that. Uh, the instrumental needs some truth and reality lyrics on it, you know. So, so the song is inspired by the uh, or, or even that occurred in South Africa, which was like a burning and looting situation. Yeah, crap in a barrel. Yeah, people misled by political influence. Yeah, believe me, and uh, I, I can fully understand that, uh, especially with what's happening in the world today. If you uh, 
taking into account, of course, the Ukrainian thing happening right now. Uh, Got to feel sorry for those folks over there, uh, especially with Putin and Russia and everything going absolutely berserk right now. Uh, it really feels like everybody wants to go to war, and I don't know why. We've just survived a pandemic. Come on, let's restructure ourselves as humans first before we even start getting a little nasty with our neighbours. Uh, now, i got to say, and believe me, I really must say this, uh, i got to say thank you to Marvin42, a good friend of ours, and of course an ambassador to Galaxy FM, to all of the African artists in there. Believe me, if you want to get on with us, go and check out Marvin42. And believe me, he is fantastic at the job he does. Uh, at the same time... Uh, you may recognise this person, and uh, believe me, she tells me that she's hooked in and listening. So check this out, my friend. You may remember who she is. Good morning. This is Mama Africa, Apostle Glenda Phillips Lee. We are listening to 107 FM New Zealand with Barbara and DJ Grant. Now, we, we love Apostle Glenda. We, we really, really do. And of course, uh, uh, we did a very specialised show uh, for Dean Roy Morgan they, in uh, memoriam for him. And uh, she was a part of that, helped us out, put it all together and everything like that. Uh, so uh, she said to me, Grant, uh, and to Barbara, uh, that she's going to be tuning in and listening to that today. So uh, welcome along, Glenda. It is an absolute pleasure to have you with us. It really, really is. We love you to bits. We do. Now, I want to move on, my friend, because I do have a fan question for you. Uh, Raquel coming out of uh, Austin, Texas is saying, uh, how do we get hold of you? Are you on Facebook? Are you on Twitter? Are you on Instagram? Are you a talker? Uh, but more importantly, do you respond? Yes, yes, for real. I, I respond to anybody, uh, no matter which part of the, of the world you're there. And I'm available on Facebook, I'm available on Instagram, and I'm available on Twitter. Uh, it's latitude, L uh, with an apostrophe, T I T U D E. Because member in apostrophe is always representing a, a silent letter somewhere there. So, yes, it's latitude, you know? Yeah, 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 most definitely. I try to avail my, my music on all platforms uh, online, you know? Try to be easy to be accessible, you know? So, if um, you are interested in the music, just go and, uh, and download the music. Would appreciate it. You, you know, Latitude, believe me, as soon as you said that with the apostrophe marking a silent letter, everybody in here pointed their finger at me and laughed. But you got it right now, you got it right now, yeah? Absolutely, I do, Latitude, don't worry about it. But <laughs> Believe me, sometimes I might mess it up, but maybe that's just to upset the staff, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's certainly not personal, it really isn't, but I, I like to have a little bit of fun with people around me as well. So, having said that, who shook the world? <laughs> yes, yes, shook the world, you know. Uh, it's a song based on uh, self-confidence. <laughs> Well, give me the skinny. Come on, tell me about this. Yeah, yeah, believing in yourself. You know, the song is out. Uh, uh, it's been uh, produced by uh, P. Pumpage. P. Pumpage is a producer I've been working with right here in Bloomfontein for about five years. You know, when I'm working on Dan Ray Morgan's uh, vocals, when I'm working on everybody's vocals, it's always P. Pumpage. You know, so this song, I actually feel is underrated, and I, I have to re-release it and actually shoot a video for it, you know. Yeah, man, shook the world for real, man. It's about a dream. It's about a little boy from Africa, man, who wants to make a mark in the world, you know? Try to shake it, you know? Yeah, 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 for real. Well, i got to tell you, Latitude, since we've been playing this, uh, believe me, we, and we play you a lot on a Wednesday night in our reggae shows as well, we seem to get a lot of requests for this, being brands, making new music. They wanted to know who, what, when, where, how, when we were doing the interview. Here is the man himself. And 1,731 requests so far, my friend. It is climbing. You're getting noticed. Here is Shook the World. Oof. It's hot in here, guys. It really is. No, you're turning it up, man. You're bringing the fire. You're bringing the fire. Hi, Sammy. <laughs> Believe me, I am. Um, 
<clears throat> or hi a g a a more. I don't know how to pronounce. <laughs> we it. don't know how to pronounce your name, but hey, thanks, brother man. It really, really he, is a pleasure to meet you. Uh, he says, Mazza Music, DJ Grant, send my regards to Latitude. Yes. From DJ Agia. Agia Agmon. Uh, we're Manon. not very good at pronouncing, yeah. but he knows Mazza Music. Yeah. Agamemnon. Yes, yes, DJ Agamemnon. Okay, well, we'll go with that one. Zimbabwean <laughs> <laughs> family, that one. Yes, 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 sir. No, love, my brother, love. Well, I'll tell you what. Um, next time you see him, us. next time you see him, give him a big hug for us, will you? Yeah, yeah, for real, man. No, nice. you know, I never see him before. <laughs> okay, well, and, and also, if you get to see Marvin Forty Two, give him a poke in the yes. eye. For, give him a poke in the eye for me, won't you? Yes, yeah, I wouldn't miss him. He won't miss him. Dear, dear, dear. I, I say that to everybody. I really, there's going to be a lot of people going around like this. <laughs> no, well. Dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Yes, here we go. That's just me. That's what I'm like. I do that. Yeah. Yeah, I tell you what, it's interesting when you go down to the local pub. I've got to be honest with you, everybody down there knows that I say to people, give them a poke in the eye. So you've got to watch them in case they come up and do it to you first. <laughs> What's your favourite beverage? Water. In the pub. Oh, you <laughs> Oh, in the pub. Okay, okay. I have okay. never there. seen you drink water. That's yeah, a fib. Yeah, that is a fib. I never drink water. I really don't. I um, I'm, I'm a coffee. beer kind of guy, <laughs> but if I'm drinking, uh, if I'm drinking top shelf, I like Jack Daniels. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, now I get you. You're not too complicated, brother. I, I get you. Straightforward. <laughs> yep, absolutely. <laughs> I'm a bloke. I like beer and I like Jack. <laughs> it's a bit of Kiwi, yeah? <laughs> I've got a young lady coming out of a place called Whistler, Vancouver. Uh, her name is Tracy, and she's, and she's saying, what was the inspiration that got you into the market? What, what made you a singer-songwriter? What was the influence there? Hey, my brother, you know, it's, it's, it's life itself, you know, and you know when you are born, when you are born, you know, I don't know, maybe we had music before in rap, but uh, to come across music, uh, and, and, and to come across an understanding of uh, this is a sound, it, it's a beautiful thing. Uh, we are actually born with it. We are actually born with it, but you know, you got to be alive to actually experience uh, the, the thing called music, you know? Uh, and you know, I, 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 I'm, I'm a youth who grew up doing activities. I was, I was very, very uh, into much activities, started playing instrumentals like violin, started playing instrumentals like marimba, started playing instrumentals like recorders, started playing uh, different instrumentals, you know, from an early age. But then we were struck by 1994, a political change. 
is took place. Now, with all these difficulties happening, this is some more music happening because we have legendary icons also over the past, you know, in the struggle like Miriam Makeba, Lucky Dube, you know, in South Africa, you know. Don't forget Bob Marley, Peter Tosh, them, you know, and so on. So there's a lot of inspiration where you really draw into into life, struggles, happy times and moments where, where you're really pleasing, you know. No, you so, know. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you were saying about <clears throat> the political side of this, and believe me, I never get into politics that much. Uh, but was this during the Man uh, the Mandela era? Uh, pardon, come again. Uh, was this part of the uh, Mandela era as well? Uh, did that play a part in the uh, political uh, scene back then? Yeah, definitely, because uh, I was living in a place called Tabanchu. Uh, that's where actually I grew up, you know, and there, there was a, a president running the place called Osi Mamope, that means King Mamope, you know. So now, uh, regimes, uh, regimes like him were overthrown by now with the new uh, mentality of 1994 Mandela Buster Court case, new South Africa mentality, right, uh, of the constitution which is actually at hand now. Now, uh, believe yeah. me. We, we actually, uh, Mandela actually came to New Zealand once and uh, uh, we were doing a show here in New Zealand, in Auckland actually, and he actually appeared on stage uh, for a couple of minutes, gave a couple of waves and everything like that. Uh, but we absolutely uh, followed the man right from the day when he got out of jail, if you know what I mean, for being a political prisoner and everything like that, to the point where he took over power and everything like that. Did he make a better difference for his people, for, for the country as a whole? Do you think he did better? Yeah, some say he did better, some say he only got things for the worse, you know. Because him as a, you know, you know from my opinion, uh, what he did, it was, it, it could have been even more uh, better, you understand. Uh, uh, but we cannot just go and put a blame on one man, but when it's one man against uh, 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 these people who want to take your land, your resources, uh, these people who outsmart you and introduce a system that you are not actually used and established in, that they have introduced and established in other countries for, for quite some time now, you understand? Mm. So uh, they isolated him from also the other uh, freedom fighters which were alongside him. And that was uh, pure manipulation, you know. Uh, you could think of 27 years in prison. You know, sometimes it gets personal also with you. It's too much strain when you feel like, really and truly, I have to get up and live my life. You know, it don't matter the conditions. As long as we stop the wars, we stop these certain things and what. Maybe sometimes it was too tiring for the old man. You know, I don't know about that. Because it's not even 27 years that he spent in prison as well, you know. Because here we are, we're still without no land. And right now, in South Africa, there, there is, is so much poverty. You know, uh, over 10 million youth are unemployed, you know. No access to money. And this happens on a day-to-day -day basis, you know. We got our, our borders overflowing, overflowing. People from North Africa coming, because South Africa is still more or less like a dream place where people can settle. You know, people are living from war and, and, and certain things. Because other places in, in our other countries in Africa, they are not constitutional like South Africa, you know, they, they, they are ruled by maybe families who've been ruling them for ages and passing on to the next generation and so on, you know, so it, it, the book will get more sweeter, you know, yeah. so, so, so this is what that with, and, and now these politicians right now, it, it's a crap in a barrel, it's, it's, it's uh, you know, you know, it's not, it's not, it, 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 they're stealing the people's money, bro, you know, they're stealing the people's money, you know, and, and believe yeah. me, yeah, uh, I've got staff members talking to me in my headphones right now saying, you know, Grant, we don't know how damn lucky we are, literally, especially when we uh, get first-hand news like this. Uh, Craig Devine is joining us. Nice to have you on board, Craig. It really, really is. And, uh, well, my friend, I really want to get down on this one because, uh, well, it only just came in, I think, last night, early this morning. Uh, and believe me, our production team were working about 1 o'clock this morning on this particular track. She make me who I am. Now tell me about this because uh, I've only heard it once. Absolutely loved it. Michael King is joining us as well. Nice to have you on board. Tell me about she make me who I am. 
Yes, brand new, brand new, brand new. Actually, this is a brand new single. We have already done the the, 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 the downloading work, uploading work, so it's going to be available. We're just waiting for the links. It's going to be available on all the platforms online, you know. Brand new song. I work with the one Diebalan from uh, Diebalan Ferron from Kingston, Jamaica. You know, this man has worked with the likes of Bounty Killer, Sizzla, Polanje, K. Polten, Tero Fabulous, Luciano, and them. It was a blessing, really and truly, to be working with this man. It was an honor and I humble myself for him to trust in my talent, you understand? So, here we go. Uh, real love, my brother. It, it's something different, like a crossover. I'm planning to shoot a video on it, so this is the first song I'll be promoting for the next three to four months. So, so, so I'm trying to spread it over the world like a pandemic. Absolutely, and well, you know something? It's about to start here. I am loving this. I really, really am. She make me who I am. Here at Galaxy, it's an exclusive. You know what's really Woohoo! <laughs> I'm loving this, I really am. Um, i got to say how much I, I respect everything you've just told me about uh, the life and times that is going on over there right now. You know, believe me. It, it's important to be truthful. You know, when you ask me how things in South Africa, Yes, normal life is still happening, but right now the world is crazy, 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 bro. Mm. It's a crazy world right now. We better talk. Exactly, exactly. I mean, gosh, we've just gone through this pandemic thing. Um, do you do you think we've actually survived the pandemic thing, or have we just put it in the too hard basket and got on with life? Uh, look what's happening in Beijing. Did you see what's happening in Beijing? No, I haven't yet. It, 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 it's all People are on hard lockdown for about uh, 80 days, you know, oh, children are right now going insane, starting to hallucinate, you know, it, 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 it's too much when you come look at the news and the media and what they're spreading, teaching to us, and in South Africa also, they, they, they're fighting the, uh, what you call it, the jab, the jab yeah. business, they're fighting the jab business, people still get sick, but hey, we got a free mask zone right now, so people can do their normal drinking and stuff like that, you know. Uh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, but believe me, it, it hasn't gone away, and I don't think it's going to go away anytime soon. I, I really don't want the world to get complacent, you know, I really don't, because this is a killer. It is still killing people on a daily basis, even here in New Zealand. We're in the, red, well, we're in the traffic light system, red, orange, green, if you know what I mean, or umber, depending on which part of the world. We're in orange right now, which doesn't mean to say that we're safe, but it doesn't mean to say we're not. You know what I mean? We're just there. Which means it kind of feels like we're in limbo right now. Do we wear a mask in public? Yes, there is mandates. You have to wear a mask indoors in places like supermarkets, malls. You know, take a spare mask with you. If you see somebody without one, pay it forward. Give it to them, literally. Save your life. Save your friend's life, your family's life, everybody around you. And save theirs as well. Be the Good Samaritan and don't bin it. Do not bin your masks. Not unless you've used it. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, ma'am. That's true. You've got to try to stay, stay safe, you know, life, life first, you know. Exactly, exactly. Uh, Peter Hoffman is joining us. Nice to have Peter Hoffman on board as well. Thank you for joining us, Peter. Um, believe me, I'm really, really excited about this because uh, we're actually releasing a couple of songs that only just came in this morning. Uh, and I've only heard them once, both songs, and I really, really enjoy this music. I really do. So uh, have a listen to it. And uh, as Latitude said, you can get it on all major platforms very shortly. It's going to be released. Anyway. <laughs> Something that caught my eye, I've got to be honest with you, is uh, a quote there. It says uh, he released a street project called Songs on My Walkman. 
You're showing your age. Walkman? Really? <laughs> Kids don't know what they are anymore. Yeah, yeah, you know, it was a, a, the quality that we were producing was very low, so it moved me on the Walkman days. So that's why I just uh, call it, uh, 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 you know, what, what you say? What my Walkman? What you say? <laughs> and that was... Song, song. Was that a tape Walkman, a CD Walkman, or was it a mini disc Walkman? Yes, yes, it was CD. It was CDs I was selling, but the, the content, the concept was uh, some sort on my Walkman. You know what I mean? Because of it was just coming from a bedroom studio, and then I was just trying to get my music out there, you know, just register it and get it out there personally myself. So. Uh, it is what it was, you know, because it's stepping stone. Every time you do it, you, you improve. You want to improve on certain things. Every time you do it, you want to do better and stuff like that. So right now, <clears throat> I'm working with a, with a band. Because now, this I haven't done in a while, and I have been specialized with a while. But it's not my band. It's, it's, it's with a, a certain artist band called David Yasu. So yes, I go and jam with them. I go and jam with them. It's a reggae band. They love my vibe. You know, they, they put in the time to, to, to learn my songs. So... Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely. We try to improve in everything that we do and keep it going. Now, keep it growing, you know? I, I got to let you know, just the other day, I was actually around at a friend of mine's place and he was going through his record collection and his young son comes up to me, he can't have been more than maybe about six, seven years of age, he goes, Dad, what the heck are they? And he goes, uh, pre-MP3. And the kid understood it. <laughs> you know what I mean? He did. Um, now, having said that, uh, we, we, you know, have come out of this pandemic -y thing, kind of, sort of, maybe, I don't feel safe, but, you know, I'm kind of feeling that there's light at the end of the tunnel. Are you gigging again? Are you getting back on stage? Are you doing shows right now? Yes, yes, yes. Shows are happening. Shows are open. Artists are back there. They're doing that thing, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. We're out there setting proposals as well, so promoters are out there also doing their best. So I see the place picking up, the place is booming. We have a couple of uh, bookings also, but which are local, you know, happening also going into December, also leading into November. November. So it's a good look. It's winter time right now, same as New Zealand. We, we're going to winter, so uh, all you can do is to stay fit and stay healthy, you know. Well, I tell you what, my friend, I am so envious for you, believe me. It is good to know that you're getting back on stage and uh, earning a bit of money as well. Uh, speaking of New Zealand, we have talked about this in the past, about getting you here in New Zealand. Uh, we are working with Marvin at the moment on a number of projects, and believe me, uh, we're being followed by Rise Up TV. We're in association with them. They are looking at doing a tour over your way very, very shortly, working with Marvin as well. Uh, but they're also coming here to New Zealand. You never know what the future might hold. They may want to do a contract where, you know, they go to your place, you might want to come here. You, you, we can work something out, you know what I mean? Uh, and believe me, I'm kind of looking forward to seeing you live on stage. I really want to see you live on stage doing your thing, I really do. Uh, because, believe me, not only am I a studio engineer, and a radio announcer, but I'm also a front of house engineer, and I absolutely love the live show. I can't get used to going to the couch, to the lounge to watch a concert. I gotta feel it, I gotta smell it, I gotta be a part of it. You know what I mean? Uh, having said that, we would love to get you here in New Zealand playing in front of New Zealand audiences. But what I wanna see, and believe me, as I said to you, I've only heard this once, that was about you know, half past one, two o'clock this morning when it was played to me by production, burning and looting. Bro, tell me all about this. This is fascinating. I love this track. <laughs> this track will be released on the 17th of June. So right after the big June 16th, <coughs> in South Africa, we're releasing burning and looting. Why uh, after June the, the 17th? Uh, because now... Uh, June 16, there was a big massacre that happened in South Africa, 1976, you know? Because, you know, my things are always, my songs are always inclined with the truth, you know? I'm trying to leave traces for the next generation to follow. I'm trying to leave tracks, brother, you know? So this is the, the next track where we leave, sir. 
uh, uh, the 17th is dropping, burning and looting. It happened in South Africa, crapping a bubble, my brother, you know. Uh, people breaking and burning the, the cities, uh, uh, shops, uh, and, 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 and also uh, businesses. I'm going to shoot a video about this. I'm going to show it to you. You're going to see it live, you know. Uh, it's going to be hectic. It's going to be hectic. I think this weekend is starting for Sapa. We need to put the team together. Everybody must start going. It's going to get hectic. You're going to see the mayhem. Uh, but it's something that people already know about. Uh, but through, you know my age now, I cannot be singing about get your body down and whatnot. And I'm an African as well, you know. So I, I need to dignify my sound and try to, to bring some teachings and positivity. You know, that's why me love Rasta so much. Me connect with the Rasta thing too. Uh, it it not promote too much slackness either, you know. You know, uh, my friend, I fully understand that. I really, really do. Uh, but, well, me, I'm a bit of an idiot as well, so I like the other side of it as well. Uh, Tim Steinreich is joining us. Hello, brother man. Nice to have you on board. Uh, also uh, associated not only lead singer of the mighty one coming out of Canada, uh, but associated with Rise Up TV, Big Record, Sony Music, The Orchard, and, of course, The Don Pierce Show, The Cat. Show, well, you know, this man is connected, he really is. Nice to have you on board. Today, we're releasing this, you know, unofficially, you know, it's going to be released on the 17th officially, but we've got a sneak preview to you here as Burning and Looting by El Tachi. Glad I you got it. We're going to take one of those. You're right here at Galaxy. <laughs> Don't worry, bro, I was just playing with the staff on that one. <laughs> no problem, no problem, bro. Here, right here, right here. I, I like getting the reactions in the headphones. How many countries are on board this morning? 182. 182 countries are tuned in. Wow! That's brilliant. There's only, there's less than 200 in the world, isn't there? Well, 195 countries, and we've got 180 of them, pretty much. Bro, you're a superstar. Always. <laughs> oh, he's frozen. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, I'll bring him back. Oh, no. Do we have to? Yeah. Do we? Do we do? You will, yeah. Will we? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. No. It won't come back itself? Come no. on, you can do it, bro. No, you can do it. No, I have to bring him back, will I? Oh. Oh. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Good um, good um. Beep, 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 beep. Have you ever wanted to do the Skype music dance? Yeah, we've done it a yeah. few times, haven't we? When, when you're calling Skype and the music comes up, do you ever do the little jiggy jiggy dance thing to it? I'm sure people do that. I can't be the only one. Oh dear, this is a bit uh, no. But I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll wind it up anyway. What do you reckon? How are you all doing? Are you all good? No, he's not you. online. Africa has mm. fallen out. <laughs> oh, no. Dear, dear. I'll wind it up anyway, but uh, yeah, honestly, if, if you've ever got Skype, uh, you know the music that goes to it? Ever wanted to give it a little dance? No, okay. but let's hear some of the music right. before we All go. Right. <laughs> That's 
right, you're right, here we go, C107 FM. It looks like we're having technical difficulties coming out of Africa right now. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, it's dropped offline and stuff like that. Uh, so we really, really do appreciate uh, Latitude spending this time with us, especially getting up at the uh, weird hours of 1 o'clock in the morning just to talk to us here in New Zealand. So we appreciate that, we really do. Uh, we unfortunately won't be able to reconnect right now. It doesn't look like it's uh, working too well for him. But in the meantime, I've got to thank everybody that's joined us here at Galaxy for this interview. Uh, it's such a pleasure to be able to catch up with uh, Latitude again. It really, really is. And very shortly, he is going to be releasing new music. Now, what I wanted to ask uh, about the burning and looting song at the end of that is that there is something significant to do with the Ukrainian people and everything like that. I think there's a uh, charity thing getting together. So go and check out the song on the 17th this month, and believe me, you won't go wrong. Make a donation, buy a copy, whatever. Please support the needy in this cause. And believe me, I know Tim Steinreich knows exactly what I'm talking about, don't you, Tim? You too have a... Uh, charity song as well, going out for the people of Ukraine. So believe me, blessed people around the world are doing good things. They really, really are. In the meantime, let me do this. Another indie artist interview brought to you by Galaxy 107 FM in association with Rise Up TV, Big Record and Sony Music Watcher. That's right, and believe me, it is such a pleasure to be in association with Rise Up TV, Big Record, Sony Music, The Orchard, here at Galaxy. That's it for us for today, and uh, don't forget, long weekend this weekend, Queen's Birthday weekend, apparently, uh, uh, Silver, uh, sorry, Platinum Jubilee, what's that? Uh, oh, oh, hold on, we'll just check this out. <laughs> hey, uh, you're back again. Yes, yes, I'm back again. I'm back. I'm sorry, I lost you. Yeah, no worries. We we're actually uh, filling in for you. We uh, wrapped it up there right now. Uh, but please hang in there, my friend, because we're going to do some photos and stuff like that, okay? Okay, okay, good, good. Okay, my friend. But in the meantime, uh, I was saying it's the Queen's uh, Platinum Jubilee thing. What's that? 75 years? Something like that? That's a long time to be sitting on the throne, don't you think? She might need a donut to be sitting on it after that much time, believe me. Uh, happy, happy birthday, uh, our Queen, and uh, many more should you reign. Uh, how, long did her, how long did her mother stay in power for? Was it about 75 years more, maybe? Yeah, very, very, that's longevity. Anyway, we're moving on. Have a very happy and successful day. Uh, it sounds like in the background, uh, Latitude's allergic to somebody, maybe me. In the meantime, have a good day. Did you watch?